Summits like this one are diplomatic marathons, but aside from all the roundtables, social events, photo ops and bilateral meetings, leaders can also meet with other partners in order to implement concrete projects. In Brussels, the Minister of Finance of the Democratic Republic of the Congo signed an agreement with a consulting firm and the French Development Agency. Under the agreement, 600,000 euros will be allocated to developing a national digital infrastructure development plan. It's to define a policy, define a framework in which public investments, like those of the French Development Agency or other actors, private investors especially, will be able to grow and generate the development impact that is expected. According to the Congolese government, this digital transition will benefit several sectors of society, like agriculture, which is vital to the country's economy. What we need to do first is to put agriculture back in its place. It is decreasing because we are a mining country. The ambition of the government is to turn things around, to make sure that agriculture and the agro-industry regain their place. And to do so, we need farmers, large and small, who use modern methods to reinforce their productivity. How to build sustainable agri-food systems is also on the agenda of European and African leaders in Brussels. Hunger and malnutrition remain rampant in many parts of the world, and developing new methods of agriculture will require significant changes. There's a range of innovative practices that could really be made much more visible and accessible. Uh, we know that in pockets uh, across Africa and Europe, there's fantastic uh, areas around sustainable agri-food systems, the way that regenerative uh, agriculture has taken place. But they're less visible and less accessible to the kind of finance and sustainable support that's needed as well. And time is ticking. The worsening effects of climate change are being felt across the African continent, further endangering food sovereignty and putting millions at risk.